man now knows firsthand just how serious the COVID-19 pandemic has become. This week, he lost his wife to the virus. Today, he spoke to Ms. Sabrina Majore about their final moments together and to share a message with everyone watching tonight. She joins us now with that story. Sabrina. Josh, today Donna Smith's family tells me they're still mourning her death, but they're also taking the time to honor her life. Friends and family of Donna Smith describe her as a loving person with a big personality. Really spunky. She can get along with anybody. Her husband says Donna was a big animal person. She loved heading to the park and feeding ducks, but above anything else, she loved spending time with her six grandchildren. The main thing, Donna, she loved her grandkids. Donna and her husband, Jimmy Smith, had been married for 51 years. This weekend, Jimmy says his world changed forever. She had pneumonia, and then after about four or five days, they tested her for the COVID-19, and it came back positive. Jimmy tested positive for COVID too, but he says his symptoms were nothing compared to Donna's. She spent the last few days of her life at CHI Memorial. Friday morning about 6.30 they called her because we needed to come down. She had an hour to live. Her husband says Donna worked as a medical assistant at Ray County Primary Care in Dayton. When we went to the office, we saw this sign saying the practice is closed until further notice due to COVID-19. As Jim and his family mourn Donna's death, he says he has an important message for the community. Take the virus seriously and wear a mask. If they had saw my wife down there this weekend, everybody would wear a mask. It was pitiful. And I miss her so bad every day, every minute. It, it really, when it hits home, it really hurts. You realize what's going on. Now we reached out to the practice where Donna worked to see if that closure means they've had other COVID cases, but we haven't heard back. The state health department says that they don't track outbreaks outside of long term care facilities. Josh Sabrina, thank you. According to Tennessee Health, there have been 409 cases in Ray County.